Hey guys, Zultra here with another quick guide. Today we're going over the Y-Wing, AI farm build and objective damage. So let's jump right into it. Um, going with a little bit different style today. Um, I'm still going to walk you through an entire run with this ship and what I'm doing, but I'm also going to show you the actual build before we get into it. So, first off, standard laser cannons on the Y-Wing. You can do more damage consistently with them because it is very hard to overcharge rotary and keep rotary powered. Goliath missile, multi-lock missiles for the AI farm. This is standard AI wins games on defense. Uh, particle burst countermeasures, as usual. Dampener hole or reinforced hole, this is up to you. You could also run ray shields or conversion shield. It's also personal preference. Um, jet engine, pretty much the way to go on Y-Wing. Alright, so let's hop in. The, hop in. Alright, so at the start of the match, the first thing we're going to do, right, Vanguard with this build, is start uh, boost gasping in, which I went over in another video last week. You should go check it out if you don't know what I'm talking about. Alright. Get those AI targeted. Wow, this AI is uh, not liking me right now, huh? Alright, after you win the opening phase, right, attacking with the Y-Wing is very similar to attacking with the TIE Bomber. My whole goal, hopefully you have a teammate that brings some kind of ion weaponry. Um, in particular, the Y-Wing is not very good at taking down shields with the slowdown. But you'll simply start orbiting. The enemy cruisers using a combination of boost skipping, boost gasping, and just standard flying and shooting the ship. So while I go ahead and do this, we can talk about some of the issues with the Y-Wing and why if I were to die during this phase, I would actually switch to an X-Wing, depending in certain situations. Um, the X-Wing has more flexibility. The Y-Wing is just straight multi-lock Goliath, come in here and basically do what I'm doing, strip turrets, right? The X-Wing, however, you can run, you can run ion missile, concussion missile, burst lasers, you can just do, on the New Republic side, the X-Wing is probably the best cap ship damage for, uh, ship, consistently with, uh, good survival damage. However, the Y-Wing is probably second best on that list as far as flexibility and survivability. Um, The reason I don't run Mean Beam, Proton Bombs, or anything like that is simply so that I can flex back and forth between offense and defense um, very easily and without having to change ships, right? So if, uh, if, if, say, I were to lose this phase right now, um, I could immediately get a resupply for my support or, and uh, start AI farming. which is crucial when you flip phases, to start that AI farm, get it going as fast as you possibly can. One cruiser down. I'm gonna take this one a little bit lower and then go re 
resupply up the ships. Let that passive damage hit it up while I'm out. Because I want my Goliaths and Multis for the cap ship. I will also say attacking the Star Destroyer is easier than an X-Wing as well. Boom. A little bit of boost skipping. I'm trying not to use my missiles here because I don't have to capture the drone. Yet again, as, as with the Empire's bomber side, right? The first thing we want to take out are those shield guns. So. On the Star Destroyer, you want to dip under the shield gens, under the shields, and blow it up. And like, yeah, might have gotten that in the next one, but getting a shield down to 27 in one pass is pretty good. And remember, you never actually want to um, stop moving, correct? We'll just cut that out. Bit of shield skipping is necessary. Oh gosh, this is my goal.